When you're sitting at the machine with your foot on the gas pedal and you find the machine just won't go, start with the basics. Make sure that the cord is well plugged in to the machine here. Check the power strip and check, make sure the power strip is plugged into the wall. Then make sure that the on-off switch is turned all the way on. You can tell that that's all the way on because the light bulb will come on. Sometimes when you press the gas pedal with your foot and you can hear the machine running but the needle is not going up and down, check the flywheel. It is possible that someone has disengaged the flywheel in order to wind a bobbin and then has forgotten to tighten the flywheel back up to engage the thread uptake uptake lever and the needle. Then it will go. When you sit at the machine, the first thing you want to do is check to make sure the dials are set where you want them to be. Perhaps the person before you was on a zigzag and forgot to put that back to zero. You want to check to make sure it's at the proper stitch length that you want and the stitch uh, width setting that you want. Another thing to check when you're sitting at the machine and it won't go when you put your foot on the gas pedal is check this buttonhole dial. If someone has done a buttonhole, gone through all the steps, but forgotten to reset it to zero, it, the machine won't operate the way you think it should. So just check that, turn it to zero, and then it resets all the other dials to a neutral. Sometimes you'll notice as you're stitching that the thread itself, the stitches themselves, are skipping or not uh, holding the tension that they need to. Check to see if the needle is okay. Sometimes the needle gets dull from use or slightly bent. Um, and so let's look at how to change that needle. This is the packaging that the needles come in. How they open is the top clear cover slides down and then this bends back so that you can take the needle out. There are some identifying parts of the needle that you need to know about. The thicker uh, shaft at the top opposite the pointed end is the part that goes up into the machine. There's a flat back to that shaft and that flat back goes toward the back of the machine. That's how you know you're getting the needle into the machine correctly. Another thing to know about the needle is that on the front there's a very small groove on the front of the needle and that is a groove where the thread sits into as the needle goes down into the um, bobbin to create that stitch. And then down here at the pointed end is the eye of the needle. To change the needle, you want to unthread it, get the thread out of the way. This is the um, screwdriver that's appropriate for this screw that's on the right side of the needle. Hold the needle while you loosen the screw so that the needle doesn't drop down into the mechanism of the machine. Discard that into the sharps container and then with the new needle with the flat part on the shaft flat to the back slide that up into there, tighten the screw and rethread the eye of the needle. Pull the thread to the back and you're ready to sew. The discarded needles from the machine go into the sharps container on top of the file cabinet that's over by the front door to the costume shop. It's right underneath the phone. Sometimes when you're stitching you'll notice the tension is off and what that means is that 
the actual thread that is making the stitches is bumpy, looks bumpy here, and on the back it looks loopy. What that means is that your tension is off. What a good tension looks like is smooth and even on the top and also smooth and even on the bottom. In the instruction manual, there's a diagram on page 7 that shows the top thread, the red top thread, and the black bobbin thread. This is as if we were looking at a side view of the stitching. The loops where the top thread meets the bottom thread are in the center of the fabric. This is correct tension. On the top of the machine is this tension dial. This governs the upper thread. We want the red line on the machine uh, horizontal matching up the other red line. This diagram shows incorrect tension. The red line, the upper thread, is too loose, and so it's going all the way through the fabric and showing as a bump on the bottom. This is a diagram of bobbin uh, thread that it's too loose, and it's going all the way up and showing in bumps on the top of the thread. These bumps are the bottom thread that are too loose, and so they're coming up to the top and being loopy underneath. So what do we do to fix that? To check the bobbin tension, you need to get the bobbin casing and the bobbin out of the housing. We want to make sure that the bobbin has the thread coming off of the top. Remember, it's supposed to look like a six. And make sure it's well seated in the bobbin casing. To make sure that the bobbin thread is going through the slit and under that tension plate right here. How you can tell if the bobbin thread is too loose is if you hold on to the thread, let go of the casing, and if it falls, then that means this plate is too loose. If the bobbin tension is too loose, there's a small screw right here that needs to be tightened. Remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Tighten that until the bobbin can hold itself, the thread can hold the bobbin up, but it needs to be able to slip. If it just stays stationary, you know that you have tightened it too much. That's too loose. Tighten it so that it just barely wants to fall. Then try putting it back in the machine and trying again. To the right of the machine is a plastic box with all of the extra bobbins, the screwdriver that you use to change the needle, extra presser feet, and the extra needles themselves. For troubleshooting on your own, next to each machine under the accessory case is the instruction manual for the Bernina 1008 and 1006. In the, there is the section setting up the sewing machine and it describes inserting the bobbin and showing you which way the thread needs to go as you're putting the bobbin into the bobbin casing. It also shows you very clearly how the machine needs to be threaded A to B to C and then down to D. It also shows you the correct thread tension here. You can always find instructions in this manual under the accessory case.